at Kelderman, Rider for School, District 1. Well, thanks for inviting me, Talbert. It's a pleasure. I'm running for school board because I'm concerned. I'm not just concerned that businesses or people that own businesses are paying double taxes because they have to pay it for their house, they have to pay it for their business, and that goes to the school board. I'm concerned because they don't know how to stop the spending. They are charging parents exorbitant amounts to register their kids to get overly used books. They have issued 16,500 16, iPads, one for each middle school, one for each high school. The purpose was to put ebooks on there. But the last meeting they had where they discussed the new books that are APA certified for the wonderful new buildings that they built, they're not in e-format. <laughs> so what's the point of a middle schooler and a high schooler having an iPad that's a play toy? I have no idea. Now I can understand it in the grade school because there are some applications that are fantastic for the kids. Helps them with math, helps them with reading, helps them get around, but unfortunately the kids are smarter than the teachers and they're excelling and the teachers are flunking. But the school board says the teachers are well qualified to work with the iPad. I have a question, why? The implementation was wrong, the timing is wrong. Unless you have what you've promised on the iPad, you shouldn't give it out. Uh, the other thing I'm worried about is they think it's a great rate to have 10 out of every 100 students as a truant. As a what? Truant. Kid that don't go to school. 10 out of 100? 10 out of every 100 is a truant. Their wow. statistics exactly. And they smile. I was talking to James Crawford. Did you know that a child that is angry with the school, angry with home, can't control themselves, and a truant can be put in front of a judge, and that judge can put him in juvenile detention for a year at the cost of $52,000 for the taxpayers? Ooh, yeah, kind of scary. I, I don't understand their reasoning, their books, are horrendous. Some parents say that they're falling apart. Why would I want to pay a registration fee to get a book that I could pull the chapters out of? Isn't that something we're supposed to be on top of? Isn't that what registration fees are for to replace bad books? They blame the school, uh, they blame Nick Zace. They say the state's stopping us from getting e-books. I'm like, no, you're stopping it. The purpose for the new buildings the wonderful STEM labs, was to teach kids how to go to college, how to be marvelous thinkers. Well, the technology is failing. That building is at the White Mill High School. It teaches carpentry, construction, plumbing. Oh, you can even get your uh, beauty shop degree, but you can't pass the test. You're not given any classes to teach you how to be a business owner, which is what these kids really want to do. They want to do something with their hands, and it's not helping them. But you can get an APA student pushed through so that they can get all the grants they need to go to school. That's why I'm running. I'm on the kid's side. I'm on the parent's side. I, I feel bad that they're paying so much in registration fees. I'm sorry that they're paying so much for the school supplies that you're giving to the school to hand up to those who don't have. So we have a wonderful socialism program in the school system, and it needs to end. So hopefully I get thrown in. Any questions? Okay, you can write a bunch of alphabet letters mm -hmm. that I'm not familiar with. The What's the STEM? STEM, uh, science, technology, engineering, and math. Oh, I went to Meadow Glen Elementary School for the ambassador program, where you're supposed to be promoting children and their education. I was in the engineering class for the fifth graders. Well, it's kindergarten fifth graders because they have a sliding scale there. So kindergarten can take a second grade class if you're smart enough to take <coughs> class. 
Well, in this engineering class, we had marshmallows. We had stick straight noodles. We had yarn. We had string. And it was teaching them engineering. Now, the smartest thing I saw was one kid had used uh, tape, taped the noodles so that they went in a teepee, put the marshmallow on top, and then was trying to figure out how to make a trivet gun out of it. Oh, now, what? I thought that was, he was trying to teach a kindergartner how to do that. I thought that was smart. The teacher said, take it down. What but were they trying to make? A trivet gun. So it would go this way and this way. Uh, the stick noodles. <laughs> the, the purpose was, don't break the noodles, utilize the marshmallows, and come up with a great engineering idea. Went to, an, <laughs> with marshmallows and noodles. And then they had another class that was a STEM qualified class. And I believe they were all second graders. So you have two classes of second graders in this one room. And it's not a bad room. Very expensively fitted. STEM classes that are added to a school, you know, a room, are $60,000. So what's special about the room? You have fancy chairs that swivet for left and right writers. They can roll so they can move into different shapes to study. They Make have smart board. Uh, no blackboard. No, no smart board? No. 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 They have whiteboards, but they're given out to the students. They have overhead projectors and uh, screens so that they can see other classes do something. And they also have a immersion class. Now, immersion into language, I can understand it, but do we really need two Mandarin Chinese classes because it's better for the world and the global citizen? I also didn't appreciate the fact that the school board member, Ms. Smith, decided that they put out wonderful little products. They don't have students. They don't have global citizens. Your children are their product. Oh my God. They're also your fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yes, I'm running. Some of this has to stop. Some of it we can't change, but if we have to make our, our teachers responsible for the grades in the core curriculum, then we need our parents to be behind their kids to work with the teachers so that they get the curriculum they need. No fuss, no muss. Let's get them all taught. So that's my spiel. And that's why I'm here.